American Express Hilton Aspire card has for years been seen as the most overpowered hotel credit card. It offered roughly $1,000 in value each year, and at just a $450 annual fee, it made a lot of sense for anybody involved in the credit card travel hacking game. But all things must come to an end, and recently, Amex has made some pretty significant changes to the Aspire card. So in this video, I'll go over everything you must know about the new and potentially unimproved Amex Hilton Aspire card. But before I get into that, I just have a quick question. Do you like free money? You do? Well, great, then make sure to sign up for Rakuten using the link that can be found in the description of this video. Right now, after signing up through my link and making a qualified purchase, you'll get $40 back just for doing so. Rakuten offers massive discounts on hundreds of brands, so before you do any holiday shopping, make sure you're utilizing the benefits of Rakuten. But all right, let's break down exactly what has changed with the Aspire card. So like I said in the intro, the fee used to be $450 and now it's $550. So that's already a pretty significant jump. A lot of people who are into credit cards don't love paying annual fees. I myself don't mind them as long as I can get outsized value on top of them. But I've hit a point where I have multiple annual fee credit cards and there is a lot of overlap and things are kind of getting hard to keep track of. So another $100 has to be shelled out year after year if you want to keep your Aspire card. Right now, there is a welcome offer of 180,000 Hilton points after you spend $6,000 on your new Hilton Aspire card in the first six months. Along with that welcome offer, the Hilton Aspire card offers 14X on Hilton properties, 7X on flights and car rentals, also 7X on US restaurants, and 3x on everything else. So those are some pretty high multipliers, but Hilton points are only valued at about 0.5 cents per point. So yes, the multipliers are high, but you're not really getting a ton of value just for those points. Just for reference, 180,000 points would be valued at roughly about $900. But the Aspire card has always been known for offering some really outsized credits based on that $450 previous annual fee. And now with the new $550 annual fee, Amex is actually offering a few new credits. Now the Aspire card is going to offer a $400 Hilton Resort credit. It's gonna be $200 in statement credits semi-annually on eligible purchases made directly with participating Hilton Resorts using your Hilton Honors Aspire card. So previously that credit was just 250 and you could use it at any time throughout the year. But now it's going to be $400, but just from the first six months, you only have 200 to use. And then the next six months of the year, you have the other 200 to use. So most likely the only way to take full advantage of that credit is if you stay more than once per year, once in the first half of the year, and then again in the second half of the year. I like the old credit because you could just go one trip and spend all of it. And then that credit is done for the year. But now if you want to max out your credits, you're probably going to have to stay twice. But there's also a brand new $200 flight credit. Previously, this was $250 of airline fee credits, but this flight credit is a lot different. You can receive up to $200 back per year, $50 in statement credits each quarter on eligible flight purchases. Those flight purchases can be made directly with an airline or through amextravel.com using your Hilton Honors Aspire card. So this credit's actually even more annoying than the previous one because again, yes, it's two dollars of flight credits which is sweet but you can't use it all in one transaction it's going to be broken up into the four quarters per year just at fifty dollars each quarter so maxing out that credit might be rather difficult and you might only end up utilizing about half of that but still it is offered it's nice to be able to get a discount if you're paying for a flight with cash you can use this card and depending on what time of year you're using it and as long as you've not already used your credit you're gonna get a $50 statement credit for doing so. Also, the Aspire card is offering a $189 Clear Plus credit. You can use your card to cover the cost of a Clear Plus membership and get up to $189 back in statement credits per calendar year. Another credit that is still on the Aspire card that has not changed is $100 in Hilton on property credit. Book a two night minimum stay with Hilton and get up to $100 in credits for qualifying charges at participating Waldorf Astoria hotels and resorts and Conrad hotels and resorts. So looking at these credits, we have almost $900 in available credits. So with the annual fee being at 550, it is technically possible for you to just use the credits and come out on top. But just like I've already gone over, some of those credits are a little bit difficult to use and you cannot use them in just one transaction. You're gonna have to space them out and time them out throughout the year to be able to take full advantage. Before I continue on to the next benefit, if you find yourself enjoying the content of this video at any point, be sure to let me know by tapping the thumbs up button. And also if you like content like this in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. All right, back to the video. Another huge benefit of the Aspire card is the fact that it offers a free night reward each year. Every single year of card membership, you're gonna be able to get a free night reward with Hilton. And also if you spend $30,000 or more in a calendar year, you're gonna get another bonus night 
And if you somehow spend up to $60,000 on your Aspire card, you're gonna get an, another additional night. So you could potentially have three free nights on your Aspire card by spending 60K on this card in a calendar year. But if you don't wanna spend all that money on this card and you're just gonna kinda of have it and keep it there for the free credits and all the other stuff I'm gonna talk about, then you're always gonna get that free night reward just by having it. One of my favorite benefits of this card is by far going to be the Hilton Diamond status that you get just from having this card. So as you can see on the screen right here, there's three different levels to Hilton status. You've got your silver, your gold, and your diamond. If you want to get diamond, then all you need to do is get the Aspire card and you automatically get it. And right there on the screen, you can see all of the extra benefits that you get from being diamond status. And the biggest benefit is going to be the potential to be upgraded. If you book a regular accommodation and as long as you're not staying at a really high traffic time where most likely all the suites and nicer rooms are already booked, if you're staying at a different time of the year, there is a very high chance that you will be able to be upgraded into a nicer accommodation. And who doesn't love free stuff? And just from having this card, you get diamond status, so you have that chance to get upgraded. The Aspire card also offers National Car Rental Emerald Club Executive status. Car members must enroll in the National Car Rental Emerald Club Executive status through their American Express online account using their card. Also, if you're traveling internationally with your Aspire card, you can use it and there will be no foreign transaction fees assessed. So really quickly looking at all of our total credits plus a free night reward, maybe valued at like 300 or $350, somewhere in that range. And then with diamond status, you might get some free meals or potential to be upgraded. Diamond status is kind of hard to evaluate how much of a dollar amount that's gonna actually be worth. But if we kind of take all of these pros and benefits that we get with this card and then deduct that $550 annual fee, we're looking at, I don't know, roughly $750-ish in value just for having this card and utilizing what is offered on it. Also, if you factor in that 180,000 point welcome offer, in year one, this card is a no brainer. If you get this card today, spend the annual fee, and then next year or throughout the next 12 months, utilize what is offered, you're gonna come out massively on top. You're gonna get some free trips. You're gonna get a lot of value back. You're gonna be able to keep a lot of money in your wallet when you travel. But also in year two and on, when you're not factoring in that welcome offer, it does seem like the Aspire card still has a ton of value to offer even given all of these changes that have been made. But if you don't like Hilton Resorts or you don't see yourself wanting to utilize that $200 flight credit, then there are some other cards that you might wanna look at. A couple suggestions I would have are the Marriott Boundless card with Chase, or if you are really into Marriott, you could also look at the Amex Brilliant card. But there's also the Hilton Surpass card, which is just a step below the Aspire. I'll be doing individual reviews on all of those cards that I just mentioned throughout the next few weeks. So if you're watching pretty quickly to when this video is released, I probably haven't made those yet, but if you're watching a few weeks down in the future, be sure to go to my channel and check around for those videos. But also if you're interested in learning about the Hilton Aspire card or any of the other very best credit cards on the market, then be sure to check out the link that I have in the description of this video and also in the buyer of all my socials. I have links for basically all the very best credit cards on the market also have links for some of the very best other financial products on the market. Using those links directly supports me and helps me continue to be able to make videos like this. So if you use any of those links or if you have in the past, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. But before you go, I just have one more quick question. Have you ever thought about what the worst credit card is? Well, I have and I actually did some research and I think I figured it out. I believe that it's this card right here and if you wanna know why, then be sure to tap that video and watch it next. Thank you so much and I will see you over there.